Hey guys! In today's video, we'll be talking about Disney stars who have changed a lot since their Disney years. I got dancers, singers, and even fashionistas! Our first star is Nicholas Bechtel, known for his role as Louie in Stuck in the Middle. These are not new pictures. Nonetheless, his transformation is still visible. He's got dark, curly hair now and a more mature look. He's grown up a lot for sure. These pictures are more recent. Unfortunately, his face isn't visible, but if you're wondering about his ride, I think they call it G-Wagon. Here he is with his sister, Nicole. With names like Nicole and Nicholas, they might just have a cool nickname for themselves, like Nini or something. In terms of acting, his most recent role was back in 2021 in an episode of American Horror Stories titled Game Over. <gasps> Next up is Dove Cameron, famous for her dual title roles in Liv and Maddie and also The Descendants. Dove looks beautiful in every picture, and she has such a unique style, but it's neither Liv's or Maddie's, that's for sure. Overall, major transformation over the years, especially when she's a brunette. You're a peach! <laughs> Dove wears multiple hats as both an actress and singer. Her debut album, Alchemical, is set to drop this fall. And the first single, Lethal Women, is already out this year. She also won an MTV Video Music Award for her video, Breakfast. Now that's cool. <laughs> On the acting front, her last role was in season one Apple TV musical series, Schmigadoon. She also lent her voice to Ellen in the animated movie, Big Nate. I love you, Mal. Did I mention that? Now let's talk about Jackson Dollinger, who portrayed young Max in Sydney to the Max. Also a big change, Jason has grown up quite a lot. He hasn't grown facial hair yet, but he has a new lush hairstyle and looks fantastic. I know. And here he is with Ava Kolker. Stay tuned, as she's also in our video. They remain really close friends since Sydney to the Max. As you can see, they even went to prom together. No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Olive! Acting-wise, you can catch Jackson in six episodes of the new Disney Channel series, Pretty Freakin' Scary. He's also been working on his music, with a new single titled Perfectly Toxic that came out last month. If you pet a dog and he don't walk off, God, I love that. God, I love that! Next up is a little older Disney star, Demi Lovato. She played Sunny in Sunny with a Chance. Demi was already 19 making this show, so she didn't grow up much more, but she's certainly evolved. Her style has changed, and her hair is now darker. It was also pretty short until recently. Now meet her new boyfriend, musician Jordan Lutz, more popularly known as Jutes. They make an adorable pair. And career-wise, Demi is a huge music star. Her newest album is titled Revamped. It was released in September this year. I guess dreams really do come true. <laughs> While she hasn't been acting as much recently, she did make a cameo in the TV series Dave. She also had a reality TV series about UFOs, which was partially based on her own experiences. It was back in 2021 and was titled Unidentified with Demi Lovato. What if they're already here waiting for us to reach out? Can you at least say hello to Demi? <gasps> <gasps> yeah. Then we have Coco Cristo, who played Olivia Duran in Gabby Duran in The Unsittables. Coco is still pretty young, but I'm sure you agree the change here is pretty staggering. She's growing up very fast and looks very different to her character on the show. <laughs> Coco hasn't had any new roles since Gabby Duran and the Unsittables, but we'll be following her career in the future. Meanwhile, take a look at her older sister, Olympia. He had to her friends. She celebrated her sweet 16 last month. Congratulations! I don't want to live in a hole anymore. It makes me feel poor. We are poor, but we're happy. Come see, come sa. Anyway, the views are better above ground. Then we have Dakota Lotus, who played Cooper Rather in Coop and Cammy Ask the World. He's already a grown up. That's a huge change for sure. Every Disney actor has curly hair now. I don't know why, but it might be fashion related. I'm a disco ball. Yes. No. Here he is with his mother, Autumn Lotus. He looks very tall in this pic. Now, if you check his Instagram page, you'll notice he's an actor slash singer slash songwriter and musician. His new single is titled, Are You Comfortable? And he also has an album in the works. An album coming out sometime early next year. It's called Young Love. It has nine songs on it. 
it's an exciting journey ahead. In addition to his music career, Dakota appeared in a short film titled Moonshine and achieved a significant milestone, high school graduation. Congratulations. <laughs> Are you proud of that? No. As for his free time, he's a skateboarder and he plays saxophone too. <laughs> nice. Next up is Nick Jonas, who played himself in Jonas and Nate in Disney movie series Camp Rock. Okay, Nick's hair was more curly then than it is now. Anyway, big transformation here. He was a teenager back then and is all grown up now and looks amazing. Hey, I'm Nick Jonas. And today... I look like that right now. I'm not surprised by this reaction. And check out his lovely wife, Priyanka Chopra Jonas. They married in 2018, and their daughter, Malti Marie, was born on January 5th, 2022. Congrats. Nick is, of course, part of the famous family band, the Jonas Brothers. Their newest album is titled The Album, very on point. So we have a letter to our fans, very cool. And they are currently on their world tour, now until December. Their latest single, Do It Like That, with South Korean boy band, TXT has 44 million views on YouTube. Anything's possible! Anything's possible! On the acting front, Nick appeared in two movies this year, The Good Half and Love Again, second alongside his wife Priyanka Chopra. Although what's funny, he was cast in a supporting role, while other actor Sam Hewen was the love interest. Funny scene. I doubt they kiss like that in real life, but I might be wrong. Next up is Ava Kolker, who you remember as Olive in Sydney to the Max. But before that, she played Ava in Girl Meets World. She was super young back then, and now she looks very mature, even older than her age, I think. Really successful transformation, although still in progress. Oh no, it's happening again. <laughs> According to her Instagram, Ava is a Sony Electronics audio ambassador. This role comes with some exciting perks, like a trip to an Olivia Rodrigo concert in Tokyo. How cool is that? Oh, it's a park with deers. So many of them, I love it. And check out her younger sister, Lexi. She is also an actress, and she was her companion in Japan. Career-wise, she was in one short film recently, titled Functioning. She also dropped a new single titled Real To Me. Beside that, Ava is also very active on TikTok. Right now, it's probably over 100 degrees. I'm sweating my ass off right now. Next, we have Mia Tellerico, best known as Charlie in Good Luck Charlie. It's astonishing to see how Mia has grown up. She was in the show since she was only one year old, which is really incredible if you think about it. You can say she's been an actress for 14 years now. You're nine months old and look how cute you are. Yeah. Now meet her mom, Claire. They recently visited Paris, France. Must have been an amazing trip. Yeah. <laughs> and here is a picture from her 15th birthday celebration. As for acting, her most recent role was in one episode of the TV series Conrad. And before that, she starred as a recurring character Paige in the web series Manny. Manny! What's up? You can also find her on Cameo. So if you want me to wish someone a happy holidays or even just a good luck, I would love to do that. So just book a Cameo. Pretty cool. Now, fun fact from Mia. My favorite movie of all time right now is probably The Act. I really love the way that Joey King, you know, performed in that one, and I really thought she did an amazing job. Remember, guys, The Act worth seeing. Next up is Pierce Joza, who you may remember as Spider Johnson from Mech X4. Pierce is 21 now, and he definitely glowed up a lot in recent years. I think he looks really good with shorter hair and even a beard. Nice. As for career, some of you might also recognize him as Werewolf Wyatt from Zombies 2 and 3. Pack. Assemble. <laughs> He's a genuinely funny guy, always making his co-star Meg Donnelly laugh on set. <laughs> Beyond acting, Pierce is an activist who speaks about epilepsy awareness. Don't be afraid to talk to your friends about your epilepsy. Fun fact, he played Daniel, brother of Spencer Boldman's character, Adam Davenport, on the show Lab Rats. Notice how young he was. Finally, I can say I created a kid I'm proud of. <laughs> Our spotlight now falls on Adam Irigoyen, remembered for his role as Deuce in Shake It Up. Fast forward 13 years and you'll find a grown-up man with stubble in long curls. It's quite the change, and it suits him well. And that's me. 
say hello to his long-term girlfriend, Briel. They recently attended a basketball game together, making for some great moments. He has to put peanut butter on his mouth to get dogs to kiss him. <laughs> Acting-wise, Adam's latest film is titled Centurion, The Dancing Stallion. We also know he works as an acting coach, but that's not all. A few life updates from Adam himself. Life update. I just moved to New York City. But most recently, and this is the thing I'm most excited about, I started up my own production company for film and television called Double Nine Productions, focused on Latino storytelling. Great idea with the new business, and good luck. Now, let's turn our attention to Josie Toda, known for her role as Stuart in Jesse. Josie's transformation is nothing short of mind-blowing. She is a transgender woman, and her journey has been remarkable. After being a blonde a while ago, she's back to her natural hair color. Looks really good at 22 years old. I can see it now. Stuart. <laughs> As for career, she appeared in three episodes of the TV series Mr. Mayor. She also lent her voice to the character Natalie in the animated series Human Resources. This year, she has two upcoming projects. Good luck with that. <laughs> horror enthusiasts, take note. Josie has an upcoming horror film titled Faces of Death. The title alone sounds spine tingling. Girl, don't you go in that graveyard. <laughs> Oh. Next, let's catch up with Sky Katz, who played Tess O'Malley in Raven's Home. The change here is not gigantic, but still pretty big, especially in style. Sky looks way more mature now, and very attractive as well. Definitely a glow up. You're the most jealous woman I know. You know other women? <laughs> No. You probably know that Raven's home was renewed last season, but fear not for Sky's future, she already landed a new role in Netflix teen drama, Surviving Summer. No way. Way. <laughs> Here she is with her co-star, Kai Lewins. They surf a lot in this show, and Kai definitely has a proper look. What else? Uh, Sky had a rockin' time at an Aerosmith concert, and of course, she's a TikTok superstar with 9.9 .9 million followers. Life could be worse. No, not really. This is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. Okay, that's all for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye!